Hello and welcome to Tier Maker, where we are going to be ranking every single Fortnite location in history. This is going to be a long video, but I'm really excited on how it's going to turn out. Let's just begin. So, firstly, we're going to do an alphabetical order. So, firstly, it's Anarchy Acres. Um, it's sad that we didn't really get a, we get to see a lot of Anarchy Acres because it got removed quite fast. So, because of that, and like. I think it's a ripoff of. Um, yeah, I think it's a um, ripoff of Fatal Fields. Um, more people went to Fatal Fields than Ana Anarchy Acres, and it got turned into. Um, yeah, um, it got turned into Lazy Links, and that no one really liked in the first place, anyway. So for that, I'm gonna put it on good. Now it was an average place, but it wouldn't be like my go-to location every single game. Catty Corner. Um, wasn't that in season three when there were all the key cards and everything? That was the best season in my opinion. That was the best season ever. And Catty Corner and um, the cave one. We'll get to it when we get to it. But Catty Corner, I'm gonna put it on great because they had mythics, they had the key card, they had everything that you needed, and everyone that I used to play with. They went to Catty Corner, and I was forced to go to Catty Corner, so for that reason, I'll put it on great. Craggy Cliffs. I never go here on my own choice. I never go here. Um, sometimes I do it in tournaments, but I know that people, a lot of people go there in tournaments, so I honestly don't know. I'll put it on okay. Seeing as, you know, it's an okay spot, it's not... It's kind of good, but I would never go there on my own volition. Dirty Docks, the same applies. I never go there. I really don't. So for that reason, I'll put it on okay. Dusty Depot, that's, I'm going to put that on great. It's not the best. Well, yeah, it kind of is, but, you know, it wasn't, Dusty Depot originally wasn't there for a long time, so you can't really rank it, seeing as it can't, it got turned into Dusty Divot and then some places, so I'm going to put it on great. Dusty Divot, I'm going to put it on good. You know, good. Because it, there was still a Dusty location. And it was used a lot. I used it a lot in my montages and I killed a lot of people there. You know, it garnered too much attention. Fortnite Epic Games tried to do stuff with Dusty. I didn't like it. That's why they got it back in Season 10. Then no one really cared because the mechs were in. And nearly all the time the mechs always spawned near Dusty. I should be talking about this, not this. I should be talking about this, not this. Alright, anyways. Fatal Fields. Real quick, I'm gonna put it on good. You know, it was it was a good place to say. But as I said, it's not the best place to be. It's better than Anarchy Acres. But I just never really went there in the first place. Flush Factory, I'm going to put it on worst. The first worst of the list. I'm assuming this is going to be really... I think this is going to be controversial, but... I never went there. I never went there one in my life. Any time. The only way... The only reason I went there was because of my challenges. And even then, it wasn't a fun place to go. It, it was just the worst. Frenzy Farm... Um, okay, I, when it was in the game, I never went there, I always went past it, but I never really went there in the first place, but there were many end games at Frenzy Farm, so I had to go there in the first place, it's okay, not my ideal place, Frosty Flights, eh, eh, you know, I think Frosty Flights was just basically a gimmick to show off the planes. That was the only reason why it was there. There was nothing really there except the planes, so that's why I don't like it. Gotham City, ooh, no. The reason I put it there was because it was like one of the first crossovers, one of the first... Yeah, the sign of the end of Fortnite, seeing as... Um, you know, I don't like Batman, and I liked Tilted Towers the way it was. Don't change it! 
Greasy Grove. Oh, I'm gonna have to put that on great. I, I'm gonna have to. The, the home of the Durburger, how can I not put it up there? How? Yeah, you can't answer. Everyone agrees. Happy Hamlet. It was a good place to go because it was neutral. It, it felt like a neutral place to go. And it felt like your local Grinch movie when you landed there. I never watched the Grinch, but, you know, I would assume it kind of looked like that all wintry and everything. Haunted Hills. I'm going to put it on good because it was like... During tournaments and like early days of Fortnite, we, I used to go there. Then I used to go to, um, after go, like I would always go to Haunted Hills and then go over to um, Snobby Shores or vice versa. And oh, I, I every location I used to go to in the early days, I would put it up here because they're just so iconic back then. And it's just a shame we'll never get that Fortnite back, but right now, that's kind of good. Holly Hedges. Good. I go there because I want to. It's a good place to go to. Enough houses, enough chests, enough people to fight. You're never really there alone. You're, there's always someone to kill. That's if they don't chicken out at the last second, but... I like Holly Hedges. I really do. Junk Junction. Good. It's another good. Seeing as... I used to go there, and I used to stream snipe some of my friends here. Haha, <laughs> the good days. Lazy Lagoon, I'm going to put that on the worst. I never went there, and it was just yet another location just for, like, that one season. At least it was early Fortnite anyways. You know, you can't go wrong with that, but... Lazy Lagoon, it kind of felt like the end. Yeah, I just don't like it. Lazy Lake. Oh, I'm going to have to put it up there at great. I really like Lazy Lake. It, it's like a really bad Tilted, but at least a location like Tilted is still in the game. So for that reason, I'm going to play that. Lazy Links. I kind of liked it, but half the time I hated it, so... Leaky like, oh, I'm going to put that on more worst, you know. It was it was the end of Fortnite when this is, was happening. Lazy Lake, sorry, Loot Lake was one of the best locations I used to go to. My number one spot. And then they just ruined it. And I hated Fortnite for that. Lonely Lodge. It was okay. Um, in one season, you could go underground, go on rifts. And that was when Lonely Lodge was... In my opinion, the, like, at its uh, top, at its best. Loot Lake, oh, I'm going to have to put that on the first best. Seeing as, as I said, I go there all the time. I used to go there every time. <laughs> Lucky Landing, I'm going to put that on good. You know, it, it was a change. It was something from Japan or China, I don't know. But, um, it's just variety, you know, at that point. Mega Mall. Okay, it was okay. I, I I didn't see the point. It was just really bad retail. Keep retail and it will be all fine. Misty Meadows, I'm going to have to put that up on great. I go there still in this season when I actually can play. I go to Misty Meadows. I like it. Most, 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 most. Moisty Meyer. I'm going to put that on the worst. I never went there. I can't say anything because I never went there. All I know is that there was like a movie. Um, production place. Moisty Palms. It was okay. It was a step up from Moisty Maya, but still, um, I never go there. I never really went there. And when I did, I would die. So what's the point? Neo Tilted. Oh, 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 oh. I hated Neo Tilted. Like back then, it was like, well, at least there is still a Tilted. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it back on. Okay, okay. It was an okay place to go. I have some fond memories from going there. It's not my ideal place, ideal place, but well, it's okay. Paradise Palms. It's up there, it's up there. I like going there, end of story. Pleasant Park, I'm gonna put that on great. I, I love Pleasant Park, I really do. Nothing more to say, Polar Peak worst. I never went there. There's a lot of these places where I never went because 
I just never had any interest in going there in the first place. Pressure plan. To be serious for a minute, I, I don't even know what that place is. I don't even know where that place is. Wait. There. Okay. Um. I'll put that on good. It was a good place. It was a volcano. Come on. Retail row. Oh, my second best. I love re... Now I'm going to put it on great. Um, I, I'm putting it on great because... I love going there. All, all the time I just say I love going there. But I really do. Rickety rig. It was good. You know? It was a sign of Fortnite coming back to how great it was but then it just fell down in season 5 and 6 but back in season 3 chapter 2 it was really good risky reels it was okay it was it was kind of like a gimmick to show all these movies and that was when it was like nearing its end in some aspects because like oh look you can watch a free movie who cares it's a battle royale game you don't go on a battle royale game to watch movies or concerts and that ruined Fortnite because they just care about the money and not the fan service. And that's what ruined it. Salty Springs. Oh, I'm going to have to put that on best. I love going there. End of story. Shifty Shafts. Good. It was good. It, it's not really that good, but good enough to not put it on okay. Slurpy Swamp. Worst. I never, I never go there. I honestly don't. I, I don't. I don't. Stop making fun of me. Snobby Shaws. I'm going to put that on great also. Snobby Shaws. I used to go there because no one really went to go. go went to go, Because no one really used to go there. And I basically all the time I loot one house. Realized that no one went there. So I looted all the other houses. And I got like always like golden scars because I looted five houses. Five giant houses may I add. At the start of the game, and I was set, and I won a lot of games when going there. So, yeah, Starry Suburbs. Where's that? I'm sorry, but I never went there. I remember going there once. Yeah, once to check it out. But after that, I honestly have no memory of going here. It was when like oh, that old tilted was back, where you weren't allowed actual guns. Like, new guns. I, I never liked it. I'm going to put that on worst. Steamy stacks. Okay. You know, I land there sometimes. But it was it's kind of like the power plants where you could go up. That was the only reason why we went there. So, yeah. Sunny stacks, worst. I never went there. I never did. I, I always used to go to Tilted then. Or, like, Pleasant or something like that. I never went to Sunny Steps. And such a bad name, Sunny Steps. All steps are sunny because all steps are... What? Sweaty Sands. Mm. Okay. It was okay. Um, not my ideal place to go. I'm losing my voice. It's not the best place to go. The Agency. That was great. I loved killing... The person who had the, um, um, key card, and I used to loot the vault, and I was, like, really, like, golden scars, golden shotguns. It was really good. Yeah. The authority. It was okay. It was a really big step down from the agency. Like, the authority was alright, but it felt too guarded, you know? The agency, yeah, it was guarding enough to be a threat, an active threat. But the authority, there were so many... There were so many NPCs there. You could barely fight. And the keycard was gone, I think, so what was the point? The block worst. I never went there. It was just a lame excuse to get the um, community involved. When, you know, I only went there... When I found out that the map created had so many chests, it was dumb, you know? The Fortilla. Okay, you know, that was another one which I believe had a keycard. 
That's the only reason. The Grotto, oh, that's that's an easy best. I I went there basically every single game. Killed Brutos. Yeah, I call him Brutos, not Brutus. Brutos. I killed Brutos. It was like always a team effort to kill him. Because you, you could never really kill him. Unless you had a minigun of yourself. Or like a spray weapon that had a lot of damage. You always have to go to the head. Aim for the head. Use the minigun. Get the keycard. Get all the best weapons. Win the game. Easy. Done. Done. Easy. Rig. It was okay. I used to go there. Once again, just for the keycard. I used to go to all these places just for the keycard. If there was no keycard, I would not go. The shark. And he's the best. Killing Sky. Once again. And, um... It was really good. And it was always, like, a really good, like... Back end where you could... Drive a boat... Through the shark and just... Get out of there. And it, it looked really like a Bond film. The yacht. Great. You know, I could not care less if Deadpool was in it. I liked Deadpool. It was the only character I liked that had a crossover. And even then, it was a crossover, so I didn't really like it. But still, the yacht, keycard, that was the only reason. Tilted Towers, best. OG Fortnite, you couldn't go wrong with it. Tilted Town, ooh, no, no thanks. Tomato Temple, same again. Lame excuse to bring back all these iconic locations, but just mess them up. Tomato Town, great. But Tomato Temple on the other hand, Wailing Woods, it was alright, but I never really went there, and yeah, I never really went there, except like when it was the playground, and you had to get, I used to just go there, that, and, um, I used to go there, that, and, um, yeah, that and Lonely Lodge, I only went there because it had a lot of trees, so a lot of materials, that was it, Weeping Woods. Same again. Um, I'm going to have to put that on okay. Sadly. Coral Castle. Okay, once again. Um, I never really went there, but I could see the reason why it was in there. And I liked it. Just, I never really went there in the first place. Doom's Domain. Nope. Dark Industries. Nope. All these crossovers I don't like. And Stark Industries. I never went there once. All my teammates went there. Once or twice, I had to follow them. Or they would die, but... Apart from that, I never went there in solos. The Ruins. I need to actually Google what that is. The Ruins. Yeah, um, for in Fortnite, please. Not the movie. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep, the authority. Um, never went there. I, don't, I have no recollection of going there in the first place. Colossal Coliseum. I never went there, but I'm going to put it on okay, because the amount of fights we did in creative, it kind of gave it meaning. It kind of gave that place meaning where it never really went. I never went there in the first place in Battle Royale. I used to cross over there when I used to go um, to Steamy Stacks. I used to go through, but apart from that, no. Hunter's Haven. Yeah, I remember that. I didn't have to Google that. <laughs> it was okay. Um, Not my ideal place. Salty Towers. I'm going to have to put that up there. On good. Like, it was the return of Tilted Towers. Mixed in with Salty Springs. Which was one of the best. Y you could not go wrong. But then, in Season 6, they had to mess it up. And that's where this comes in. Bony Burbs, that's the worst. I hate it. They brought back Tilted for a reason, and that was to please the audience, especially the OG audience who wanted to experience it again. But then they just forgot all about it and made that horrendous abomination. Why? I'll tell you why. Money! Stealthy Stronghold. Google, you're saving... Google, you're saving me with these answers. Google, you're saving me. Stealthy, okay, Stealth, Stealthy Stronghold. It was okay. It, it was a giant place to go to. But yeah, Colossal Crops. You know, the next two, I have never gone in my life. So I'm going to put that on worst. Um, because Season 6 is so bad. And the, the crafting system, it's not Minecraft. And I liked it when it was just basic weapons. Well, now, 
Oh, you can't get a normal AR. You can't get a normal shotgun. You can't get a normal SMG. You have to make it. And how? Okay. Animal parts. Where are the animals? I don't know. Where do they spawn? I don't know. Randomly. Well, when do they spawn? In the middle of the game? It is random. The same, but at least mechanical, mechanical parts. You can just break a car, get them. Easy. But animal parts. No. Just give me a normal AR and a shotgun. Not all these, you know, it get, uh, like, I can applaud it for, um, it's realism. Because normally you have to craft guns if there are no actual guns. But in a video game, who cares about realism? That was Mega Mall. That's not realistic. Fortnite isn't realistic. So why would you add realistic weapons? Yeah, ARs and shotguns are realistic, but in that aspect with guns, you can be realistic, but not that realistic where you have to do all the work yourself to get the guns you could use to get, you used to get basically all games. It's stupid, but that was it. I'm gonna download it and... Okay, well, all the worst places have just gone, so let me just add them back. Okay, so thank you everyone for watching. I have ranked every single um, Fortnite location ever. I'm gonna go back in this and um, later on in the month, I am going to look at all the weapons, all the skins, all the battle passes, etc. And all the seasons and all the events. But apart from that, thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.